we're just outside Rotorua and just like every trip there always seems to be a huge amount of roadworks. I don't even know what we're waiting for. So we're four hours into the trip, we're in the gorge, I uh, can't remember the name of it, but it's very beautiful. Got the producer with me who's over there reading a sign, and uh, we've decided we had to bring a uh, gherkin with us. Apparently that's a thing that we need to cart around with us, it's been to school, it's been everywhere, it came from the pumpkin carnival, but uh, you right back there? thinks it's super funny so anyway we better carry on we've got another probably hour and 20 I think to go Here we are, Museum of Technology here in Gisborne, and uh, there's lots of cool stuff to see here. Obviously, lots of stuff everywhere, and a lot of stuff you, unless you know what it is, um, you may not know what it is. But this is for Dennis, and uh, more specifically his brother. His brother loves printing presses, so he probably loves seeing this. This is uh, used by the Gisborne Herald for printing, and it was formerly used for the Cowardale Times. It retired in 1973. Here's some more over here. A room full of steam engines, stationary steam engines. One of the cool things here at East Coast Museum of Technology is there's a lot of old vehicles around, including fire engines. You'll find fire engines here. At the back, there's one over here. This is the building with all the fire equipment in it. But outside here, old fire engines. Here we go. This is uh, a jail cell block unit. There we go. Let's go check it out. It's a bit creepy actually, and uh, of course there's a creepy mannequin, so that's why my producer hasn't come in. <gasps> there he is. Hey, so here we are on the day that was supposed to be the Bushmary Arms pumpkin competition. They've pushed it out a week due to the weather today going to turn pretty bad, which is really cool because they're one of the only events that I know of that has the ability to postpone it at short notice and do it a week later. They've done it before and it works really well for them. The only people that sort of stuffs up are weird people like me who travel around looking at pumpkin events. But to be honest, I'm probably the only one really doing that. So it doesn't really matter. In the future, I might just come down just for the one night. But we've had a lot of fun here for two nights in Gisborne. So it's been good. And in a minute, we're going to go head out and we're going to check on Jared's pumpkin. Jared grows a pumpkin for exhibition. 
and those seeds are used to those seeds are sold the following year for everybody to enter at Bush Mary Arms. Now Jared can get the pumpkins up there quite big, so it's always fun to see those and see what they look like. I almost thought I wasn't gonna see a giant pumpkin here in Gisborne. I would have been pretty sad about that. But luckily, I found Jared. Say hi Jared. How are you? I'm great. And here we are, we're at Jared's. Now his pumpkin is up on some uh, pallets. It's been lifted up with the tripod and he was getting it all ready to go today, but it's been postponed a week. Now the biggest problem is, will it last another week, Jared? Oh, touch and go, it could be soup next week, I'm not too sure. It could be yeah. soup <laughs> next week. We all know how quickly things can deteriorate with your pumpkins. Luckily here in Gisborne, it's not very humid at the moment, it's nice and cool, uh, but there's probably gonna be a lot of rain during the week, so. A very soft spot slash Actually, is that, does that go right in? I think it does now. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks terrible looking through here. <laughs> I put my finger in it yesterday, yeah, so that was the finger going in. Okay, so it's had the finger test. Well, it's still quite solid. Oh, there. solid. Okay, don't press any harder. It might be alright. <laughs> might be alright. Hopefully it makes it to the scale next, uh, next Sunday, here in Gisborne. Here's the main guy, just posing. <laughs> 